Hey, I'm really excited to share with you why Mandy and I selected a job site saw instead of a traditional table saw. Spoiler alert, we love this table saw. However, choosing our table saw came down to two primary factors based on our needs. It needed to be affordable within our budget and stationary within the workshop. Now, this saw may be small, but it has an excellent rip capacity of 32 and a half inches, so we can cut a full sheet of plywood. But with a smaller work surface, it can make cutting pretty difficult. Despite this shortcoming, this saw fit our overall needs. We built a table saw workstation that allowed us to secure the saw in place and help significantly when cutting large pieces of plywood. In our application, the outfeed table supports the lumber when being cut. An added feature is the workstation is on wheels and can be moved easily within the shop. The DeWalt 7491 RS saw is the perfect application for this setup if you have a small workshop. The saw can be removed from the work platform as it only weighs 53 pounds and mounted to a mobile job site cart that it came with. Although we don't plan on using it, I must say this cart is made very well. It's not only robust, but easy to use. So this is my old Ryobi table saw with the stand. It's awesome because it's very portable, but it's not what we need right now. Being that we're in our workshop and everything is stationary, we wanted to upgrade our table saw, so we went with the DeWalt 749 RS. What's great is it came with this job site saw stand right here that's very portable, but we don't need it. Um, we've got it on our workbench over here. We're honestly never going to use this job site saw stand, but um, the con is that it would have been really nice to have purchased this table saw with the option of not having this a part of it. So perhaps it could be a little bit cheaper for us. Another nice feature is the rack and pinion fence, which allows for better accuracy and easy adjustment. DeWalt hit a home run with this design. This saw also allows us to use a three quarter inch stacked dado blade. Now, most job site saws don't have an arbor long enough to accommodate this, but this one does. If you've seen our previous DeWalt 780 miter saw review, you know that dust collection is extremely important in our workshop. DeWalt pulled a Tom Brady touchdown here and absolutely nailed it. The saw is connected to a cyclone dust collection system that is also paired with a switch that turns the system on when it's running and continues for 10 seconds after the saw has been turned off. It's the exact same system we utilized in our DeWalt 780 miter saw workstation. Now this this is one of the best table saws we've ever used and we are very familiar with quite a few. With that being said, nothing is perfect. As with most job site saws, the miter gauge is likely what you expect. It serves its purpose, but it's nothing fancy. We recommend building a cross cut sled. It's safer and extremely accurate if built correctly. We recognize the table is small compared to a true workshop table saw. There's very little room in the front, so feeding long stock can be difficult. However, there are steps you can take to minimize this, which we plan to incorporate later, but for now, it's a compromise. We've used this saw on several projects and could not be more pleased with our choice. There are certainly less expensive table saws out there, and you may find that the key features that are important to us are different for you, and that's okay. But we highly recommend this saw. If you're interested in anything we've highlighted here for you today, or you would like more information, leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.